Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive training session on Solanc, a peptide with significant applications in mental health and cognitive enhancement. During this session, we will explore its mechanism of action, clinical applications, dosage protocols, risks, benefits, alternatives, and patient considerations. Additionally, we will review three detailed clinical case studies and recommended laboratory evaluations to ensure safe and effective use. Let's get started. Solanc is a synthetic peptide analog derived from tuftsin, a naturally occurring immunomodulatory peptide. Solanc was designed to mimic and enhance the effects of tuftsin, particularly its ability to modulate the immune system and regulate stress responses. Solanc is classified as an anxiolytic and nootropic peptide, meaning it can reduce anxiety and improve cognitive function. Unlike traditional anxiolytics, Solanc does not have sedative or habit-forming effects, making it an appealing option for long-term use in managing anxiety, depression, and cognitive decline. Solanc works through multiple mechanisms to achieve its therapeutic effects. Regulation of neurotransmitters. Solanc increases levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter involved in mood regulation, and stabilizes dopamine levels to improve focus and motivation. Stress response modulation. It reduces overactivity in the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA axis, helping to lower stress-related cortisol levels. Cognitive enhancement. Solanc improves brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF expression, promoting neuroplasticity and cognitive function. Immunomodulation. Solanc enhances immune system activity by increasing tufsin-related immune responses, making it useful in conditions with immune dysregulation. Anxiolytic effects. By modulating GABAergic and serotonergic pathways, Solanc provides a calming effect without sedation. Solanc has a broad range of clinical applications, including anxiety and stress disorders, effective in managing generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety, and stress-related conditions. Depression used as an adjunctive therapy to improve mood and emotional regulation in mild to moderate depression. Cognitive enhancement improves focus, memory, and mental clarity in individuals experiencing cognitive decline or mental fatigue. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, reduces symptoms of hypervigilance, anxiety, and emotional dysregulation. Immune system support enhances immune function in individuals with chronic immune suppression or recurrent infections. Autism Spectrum Disorder ASD, investigated for its potential to improve social behavior and reduce anxiety in individuals with ASD. Adjunct in neurodegenerative conditions, potential benefits in managing cognitive decline associated with Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders. Benefits. The potential benefits of Solanc include reduction in anxiety and stress without sedative or addictive properties, improved cognitive function, including memory, focus, and mental clarity, modulation of the immune system, enhancing resilience to infections, adjunctive benefits for mood stabilization in depression and PTSD, safe for long-term use with minimal side effects. Risks. Solanc is well tolerated, but potential risks include mild transient side effects such as headache or fatigue, local irritation or redness at the injection site if administered subcutaneously, rare cases of overstimulation or irritability in sensitive individuals. These risks are generally mild and resolve with dose adjustments or discontinuation. Alternatives. Alternatives to Solanc for similar therapeutic goals include for anxiety, benzodiazepines, for example, alprazolam, lorazepam, or SSRIs, for example, sertraline, escitalopram. For cognitive enhancement, nootropic agents like pyrocetum or modafinil. For depression, SNRIs, for example, venlafaxine or tricyclic antidepressants. For immune modulation, thymosin alpha-1 or lifestyle interventions like stress management and exercise. Solanc is typically administered via intranasal spray or subcutaneous injection. For anxiety and stress disorders, route intranasal. Dose, 300 micrograms per dose, one to three times daily, depending on the severity of symptoms. For cognitive enhancement, route intranasal or subcutaneous. Dose, 200 to 500 micrograms per dose, one to two times daily as needed. For immune support, route subcutaneous. 
Dose 250 micrograms daily for seven to 14 days during acute illness or stress. Treatment duration, short-term use for acute stress or illness. Long-term use for chronic conditions may require regular reassessment every four to 12 weeks. Laboratory testing can help guide Solanc therapy and monitor its effects. Baseline testing, hormonal profile, including cortisol and DHEA levels to assess stress response. Neurotransmitter levels, optional, such as serotonin and dopamine metabolites. Immune markers, including white blood cell count and immunoglobulin levels. Monitoring during treatment. Regular assessment of anxiety, mood, and cognitive function using validated scales like the GAD-7 or MMSE. Symptom logs to evaluate therapeutic response and side effects. Post-treatment evaluation. Follow-up assessments to determine the need for continued therapy or dose adjustments. Immune function monitoring for patients using Selanc for immune support. Case study one, generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. A 35-year-old female with generalized anxiety disorder reports excessive worry, difficulty concentrating and poor sleep. Treatment protocol, Solanc, 300 micrograms intranasally twice daily for eight weeks. Outcome, reduced anxiety symptoms by week two with improved focus and sleep quality by week six. No side effects were reported. Case study two, cognitive decline in an older adult. A 65-year-old male presents with mild cognitive impairment reporting forgetfulness and reduced mental clarity. Treatment protocol, Silank, 400 micrograms subcutaneously once daily for four weeks. Outcome, improved memory recall and mental clarity by week three, sustained through week four. Follow-up assessments showed enhanced cognitive performance on memory tests. Case study, three, stress-induced immune suppression. A 40-year-old male with chronic stress reports, recurrent respiratory infections, and elevated cortisol levels. Treatment protocol, Selanc, 250 micrograms subcutaneously daily for 10 days during an acute illness. Outcome, reduced infection duration and severity with improved energy levels and lower cortisol by the end of therapy. In conclusion, Solanc is a safe and versatile peptide with significant potential for managing anxiety, enhancing cognitive function, and supporting immune health. Its unique ability to modulate neurotransmitters and the immune system makes it an appealing option for integrative and functional medicine practitioners. With careful monitoring and individualized dosing, Solanc can improve quality of life for patients with stress-related cognitive or immune challenges. Want to introduce peptide therapy to your patients? Get certified with our free course at freepeptidetraining.com.